if you're new to Telegram, sometimes it's very intimidating to get such big files sent to you. Like somebody could send you a 500 meg file and it comes to you. Um, if you're used to working with something like uh, WhatsApp, all the files on WhatsApp are compressed before they are sent. So if it's a video, it goes down to 17 megabytes or it has to truncate it, send you different pieces. Uh, if it is uh, another type of file, I think they can send up to 160 megabytes. But the reason for that is because the files reside on the devices. There's no cloud in between to help with the storage. So you can't send files, big files to people that they don't want. It's going to be sort of spamming as they get it on the device. It's going to run out of space. And there, as I said, there's no intermediate that stores the files. So WhatsApp actually compresses the files and forces you to send smaller files along. Telegram, you can send any size file, well, not any size, up to 1.5 gigabytes, which is literally a massive file you can send over because it goes from one device to the cloud. And then it asks the other device who is the recipient, do you want this file onto your device now? You'd have a decision as to when you want it and how you want it. So let me show you how you do those settings. Um, if you're familiar with Telegram and you, you might not be aware of these settings because, you know, we usually come across and just use the application. We don't fiddle with all of these things. So you go to these settings, you can find the settings on the phone and then go to data and storage. Now, I've done a video on this before, but I think it's worthwhile covering it while we're in the same environment. Uh, the thing I'm going to speak about is storage and usage up there, but firstly, we're going to just go down here to automatic media download. All this is saying is, if we are on a Wi-Fi, how do I treat the data that I want to download from the cloud that somebody sent me? Um, if I'm on mobile, what must I do? And if we tap the mobile button, if that is on, it's saying if there's a photo or video that somebody sent me that's residing in the cloud, if it's 2.5 megabytes or smaller, automatically download it on my device. Don't wait for me to interact with you to get it down, okay? Then if you're on Wi-Fi, it ups the game a bit. It says if it's a 15 megabyte video or photo that gets sent to me on the cloud, download it immediately if I'm on a Wi-Fi. Okay, anything more than 15, it's going to wait for you to download it. Three megabytes with all other types of files. And just important to know, Telegram, you can send any type of file, any format. Okay, most of the other messaging apps have restrictions on certain types of files. And I think it's also because you can't just send any massive size file besides the format of the file. So if you switch that off, then it means even if you're in a Wi-Fi zone, it's not going to pull it down on your device. That's my setting because sometimes somebody could send me a, a file and 10 files and they're below 15 megabytes, but I don't want it on my device. I can decide afterwards. And this doesn't mean that it stays in the cloud and you don't know it's there. As it gets to the cloud, it will send a thumbnail down to you so you can see what's there. And I'll show you now. now. Um, but the important thing is that you're sitting with a reference on your device and it's up in the cloud. Roaming, I suggest you keep it off always because, you know, if you're outside the country, you don't want unnecessary data usage. Then autoplay of media like GIFs and videos. If you have videos on, that means that when a file is downloaded from the cloud, any video file is downloaded on the cloud. If you have videos autoplay on, as you're scrolling through it, it will mute the video, but it will play it the visual you'll see when you get it on the focus. When you scroll away from it, it will stop playing. So that's just like an autoplay, so you could kind of thumbnail preview it, but that's when it resides on your device. So it won't automatically start streaming when you look at it and take up your data. It's usually the stuff that is already downloaded. Then the next one, streaming, I leave that on. So videos, I usually leave that off because I don't need to see the thing cycling just as a little thumbnail video playing in the background when it's on my device. The streaming is very powerful. So it's designed around the fact that if somebody sends you a 500 or 800 megabyte video, you don't have to download the whole thing before you can actually view it. So if you want to view it, you can immediately press on the video and it will start streaming down from the cloud and play it for you. 
and this is very helpful when you get a big video and you don't know what the content is and you maybe want to look at halfway through the video you can click on the video and then there's a slider you can slide towards the middle and then preview what the video is all about while you're doing that it's downloading in the background it's downloading on your device if you find that this is not something I want you can stop it stop the downloading then you don't have to take all that data downloading and putting it on your device okay so we'll look at an example or two of that um, I'm going to go to the storage one one that people don't I don't think many people go in there but in the storage usage it's usually by default set on to forever photos and videos and other files from cloud chats that you have not accessed during this period will be removed from this device to save disk space so what they're saying is if somebody sent you a say a video and it's a 200 meg video and you've downloaded it onto your device because you want to look at it or a document or anything once you have it on your device you are saying with this setting um, at the moment it's forever so if I drop it say down to three days you are saying that in three days if I don't look at that file so whether it's a PDF or video if I don't open the file scroll onto it and open and view it then it will delete it off my local device because it realizes that I may be um, not using it, I'm not focused on it, it's just taking un unnecessary space. So for some folk they'll put it on a week or a month because they might think you know in a week's time I want to go and look at that again. But once it takes it off your device the second part comes into play all media will stay in Telegram Cloud and can be re-downloaded if you need it again. Um, I'm not sure if you are familiar with uh, Google Photos. Google Photos works exactly like that. You save all the photos in the cloud and then on your device you have little thumbnails which you can preview and you can see what's going on in a pretty nice thumbnail that you're viewing. But if you want one of those photos to be physically on your device then you can download the actual photo onto your device that will be the high quality uh, visual that you'll have there. Um, same it does that with videos so this is how telegram works device storage that's currently 43 megabytes in my telegram cache now that is most likely because I downloaded that video from the cloud but I can come in here and clean out my cache also so I can override this area on top by just removing everything out of my device and it still will be referencing the cloud Okay, but let me just go and show you the files that we're going to be working with. So if I go in there, these are the files now. So that is a YouTube link. Uh, and all of these things can stream inside the application. So if I, if I stream this YouTube video, what it's going to do is create uh, the cache of the actual video. So that if I play it again, it's easier just to pull it from here than to do the live stream every time. This is just a photo which pulls out here. And although I showed you, you know, the auto downloads, if it's a text file, if it's just text that's been typed, that automatically pops through without a problem. There's no limitation and restrictions there because it doesn't use much data. Here's a file and the little icon here on the left that shows you that it's on the device. If it wasn't on the device, you'll have a little arrow here, which you'll see soon. I'm going to clean out the cache and you'll see the response. This is a video and this thing has been done. If I click here now it's going to play. This is physically on my phone. If it wasn't on my phone and in the cloud you'll see an arrow here to say do you want to download it. Okay so this is what it looks like here now. If I go back go to settings and let's just get back to that area. So I'm going to go now and I'm going to click on clear cache. Now it's telling me of this cache that's taking up all the space 156 kilobytes photos and you notice the videos is 401 or oh, sorry 40 megabytes and the reason for that is because I've downloaded that video now and if I had videos in other accounts or other chats that I had it will all reflect here because this is cleaning the entire cache out documents I can include exclude files etc so I'm going to just leave it like that or maybe I should show you here if I go uh, maybe documents because I've got one document there that I'm going to exclude and remove the rest. You'll see the document wouldn't uh, remove itself it will still be on the device so I clear the cache and there we go 40 megabytes cleared if I go back in 
Okay, here you can see over here there's an arrow now. This is no longer residing on my local device. It looks like the same that we saw just now. The only difference is if I play now it's going to start streaming and downloading it now only. Okay, here you can see I didn't clear out the document. You can see it's still physically present on my device. The photos and everything, all of those stuff were cleared off. So if I want to get the thumbnail preview back, I just click that. It's going to take it from the cloud and bring the thumbnail preview down. This one also it will bring the preview down here. But because this is a small photo, it literally pulls the old photo down onto the device here. Okay, so we look at that now. I'm going to just go once more back in there and go and clear everything again. I'm going to clear cache and now I'm going to clear everything including the document. If we go back we'll see what happens there now. If I go back that is still there that is in the cloud still. Can you see a change from that document to a download because now it's saying there's a physical copy doesn't exist on the device you've got to download it. So with all your settings set off like I have it this is how messages would appear. And I know you maybe feel, oh, this doesn't look too nice every time. But it's your choice as to whether you want anything to, to come down. Um, I mean, if I wanted to see what this is about, I read guidelines of video. All I need to do is tap here, and it takes a short while just to connect, and then I can see the video. Yeah, I can do that. But I'm in control of what I want to get from the cloud onto my device. And I think if you start working in this space, you'll realize how powerful it is. Um, just a, a side note in fact that people, for example, they want to share a file. Now you'll understand that if I wanted to share this file over here, I can share it to somebody that's on Telegram. Because if I click on here, it's going to give me the option to forward it to somebody on Telegram. So why is that possible? All I'm doing is sending the other person the link into the cloud. So they have access into the cloud like I have because we're both Telegram users. They get the link, they make a request to the cloud for that file. Telegram will send them based on their phone settings whether they want the information down. Telegram will send that file through to them. Okay, So I can't forward this file to somebody for example on WhatsApp because it's not on my device, it's in the cloud. I will physically have to download it before I can send it to somebody. So in a case like this, if you look at the menu, it just says forward or reply to whoever sent it. But look at this. When I click now download, now that means it's been downloaded. Look what happens in the selections. It's automatically got the ability to share now because it's physically residing on my device. Same way here, if I want to share this, you're only going to get a forward because the forward link will send it to the other person and the other person will see exactly what I'm seeing. They can decide whether they want to download or not. Once I download this, of course, you'll have an additional share button coming up. So this is a great way of managing your data, making sure that as things arrive, what you want to automatically download, and then also setting that timer. So hopefully that helps you save a lot of space.